<laughs> they don't sound like that, I know. Or... Hello everyone and welcome back to Tomok Toad. Today we're gonna do a, a little different video. We're gonna do some Would You Rather because I love that game. So we, we're gonna do it because I feel like it. Uh, so we're just gonna dive right into the game. So, would you rather lead a boor lead a boring life from here forward, reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex? I would choose to be reborn with my memories. I don't know why, what my opposite sex thing would matter. I don't know. I don't know. The person who made the question thinks that's a thing. Anyway, because imagine, now I'm 25, I, it, it's a young life still, but 25 years experience into a baby's body, and then when I'm 25, then I have 50 years of experience. Imagine the things I can do if I actually do something. I'm gonna do this, as most people, so yeah. Next question. Would you rather speak everything in surd sound, surround sound, or have your own entrance team when you walk in a room? Holy yes! Taking that as everyone else. I'm just like everyone else. Disappointment. Anyway, would you rather consistently have 40 pounds weight on your shoulders? God damn. Consistently have 10 pounds weight on each of your feet. 10 pounds on my feet. Imagine my back, we would be so much pain at 40 pounds. How much is 40 pounds? I live in Sweden, we have uh, kilo, kilograms and shit. So it's, yeah. Next question. Would you rather have to kill the animal for any meat you eat? Never eat meat again. I love meat, so I'm killing an animal. You can judge me all you want, but I love meat. It's so delicious. Like... Honey glazed... Ribs. I think that's how you say it in English. It's, oh, it's, it's, so it's so good. Would you rather watch the Big Bang Theory or watch The Office? I've never seen The Office. I haven't seen everything from The Big Bang. So I'm gonna see The Office. I haven't seen it, so you know, why, why, not? why not? Would you rather? This is a good question for me. Would you rather be a student who always sleeps in class or be the student who always talks in class. I was both <laughs> in school. Not even a joke. One time, I actually fell asleep and fell off the chair. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Uh, me and a few friends were um, we were up like two days straight, almost. Not not quite, but almost. Uh, no, we were no wait, 30, 32 hours, I think. And I was so tired when I came to school on a, I think it was a Monday, it probably was a Monday. Uh, and we had chemistry cl class, and uh, since I was so tired, I could get, get up of bed, I was uh, a little bit late uh, to class. Like, only a few minutes, so I'm proud of myself for getting there. But the thing is, I had to sit in the front row. <laughs> and the, this teacher we had, Shell, he, wa he was really strict. An older guy, he was really polite and uh, so, but really strict, really, really strict. Um, <laughs> and I was I sit there on the front road, row, and I was so tired, and I really tried to keep my eyes open, but I felt them as getting heavier and heavier and heavier. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I just, I nodded off for one second, one second, and I was like, so, boom! But straight down the floor <laughs> and I was so embarrassed and damn I've never seen him that mad before he got so mad but <laughs> it's a great memory now <laughs> yes yes I flunked I, I, I flunked the chemistry class mainly because of the math the teacher said I was really good when I had to, with the laboratory thingies and we had to mix stuff and everything, he said I was super at that. Just the, uh, the math, you know, I, I couldn't do it. So yeah, anyway, I I would rather always talk in class because I can that I can say good stuff. I can interrupt the teacher, be like, "Hey, 1954, this happened." I don't know what ha happened 1954, but you know. <laughs> would you rather? <laughs> 
Have arms in proportion of a T-Rex or have a neck in proportion of a Brontosaurus. So you you mean I would I would either run around like a T-Rex. So I would either run around like this all the time. <laughs> they don't sound like that, I know. <laughs> or I would be like this all the time. It's interesting. So yeah, I don't know I don't know how I would choose. I mean I <laughs> <laughs> that was so silly. Okay, anyway, shoes. <sighs> I would I would take the neck as a brontosaurus. I could probably not get up get an operation for that. But I would I would choose the brontosaurus thing. You see, if I have small arms and I need to scratch my balls, I can't do that. But with a long neck, I can still scratch my balls because I have long arms. And I can reach my food better, and I love food, so yeah. Doing that, would you rather skip summer, skip, win skip winter? Have you ever been in Sweden on winter? It sucks ass. It's cold, it's dark, it's cold. You need to have like 10 layers of jackets. The polar bears roaming around. There's, we don't have polar bears in Sweden, I'm just kidding. It sucks ass anyway, so no! Screw the, su screw the summer, what? No, screw the winter. We have lovely summers if it's not raining. I'm actually gonna kind of skip it. No, actually not. I can't, I'm kind of skipping winter this year. Not last, ne next year. Uh, because me and a friend uh, are going to Thailand for five weeks. Uh, we are traveling, we're going... Uh, there the 1st of January and we will be back the 4th of uh, February so it's gonna be awesome we're gonna, we're gonna backpack all around so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be dope would you rather eat an apple eat a pear I like pear better so we pear only 27% it depends what kind of pear it is so like if it is this kind of pear then I'm gonna eat a pear They are delicious, man. <laughs> what? Would you rather have your hands switch to dust pants or be sweating in jam instead of sweat? What? I mean, I really need my hands for gaming, so I'm gonna choose this sweating jam. You know, I could. It's jam. So if I, I can take a sandwich and, like, Hey, I want strawberry. Or you know, I want I want pineapple jam. I don't know what kind of jams are there. Strawberry, raspberry, tons of. I can't just remember anything now. And lingon, lingon silt is that shit. Would you rather marry at age ten? What? Or never marry at all? Never ma marry at all. What? What people? 53% would rather marry at age 10. You will be married to Hank with a porn mustache and a really fat belly. No, how? What? Would you rather watch a volcano erupt or witness a meteor hitting Earth? I mean, meteors are hitting Earth, not Earth. Meteors are hitting the Earth all the time. Really often, actually. Oh, really small ones, but it happens a lot. There is actually a sword made out of uh, the uh, iron from a meteor. That's cool. I would rather watch the volcano. That's dope, you know what? Cool. Would you rather eat 25? Five toenails or snort a tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm I'm gonna do the cinnamon one. Who wants to eat toenails? Uh, okay, so here we go. Would you rather eat your weight in pig feet or dive into a pool of uh, horse 
radish and worms. You see, here's the thing, I'm from Sweden, and here in Sweden around Christmas we eat pig feet. I kid you not, you can look it up. So I would eat pig feet, they are actually kind of delicious. <laughs> so. There you go! Ooh! Would you rather be a character in Lord of the Rings or be a character in Harry Potter? Here, you see, if you're a character in Lord of the Rings, your chances are much bigger to be killed. <laughs> then if you're a, a character in Harry Potter and I think the magic in Harry Potter is way cooler than anything in uh, Lord of the Rings I'm sorry Lord, Lord of the Ring fans I'm really sorry but I need to choose this I need to choose Harry Potter I grew up with the books I was at the same age at characters in the books almost I was like one year older than me or, or something like that and I like grown. I really grown grow with with the books, and it, the best escape ever are those books. I know I said my favorite books. I have said it at some point. My favorite book series is the Aragon series, but man, Harry Potter is a really close second one. Mm -mm, love that shit. Would you rather have a real lightsaber or save a random Afrocrete from starvation? I really want that lightsaber, I'm not gonna lie. Oops, so cool. But I'm not gonna need to do this. Because it's right. 54 people, shame on you. Shame on you. I understand you, but shame on you. Would you rather control the elements or control time? Here we go! This is a question for me. Okay, so if you can control the elements, I gotta do the earth, water, fire, wind. There are more elements, but that's the only one I can re remember right now. Because I'm re-watching uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's such a good series, such a good series. I got it on DVD. Awesome. Okay. But you know, I could control elements. It would be so cool, but to control time. Time manipulation is one of my... I, I'm so fascinated about that stuff. It's super cool. So I'm gonna choose that, as most people. But my uh, speaking of like superpowers, my absolute favorite superpower is the uh, uh, subatomic manipulation. That shit is so cool. You can recreate stuff. You can break down stuff. You can create it. You can create new elements if you have subatomic subatomic. Uh, powers just atomic powers you can't re you can create a new element but you can create stuff from thin air basically super cool you can like fly and breathe on the water you can basically teleport and stuff which is awesome ooh this one I like on a beautiful sunny day would you rather lie in the grass and read a book or stay inside and watch excellent TV as I said I don't watch TV and I love it when it's beautiful, like a beautiful sunny summer day, I love to be outside. It's gorgeous. With flowers and birds and blue sky with a few clouds. And you can feel the heat, but it's, it's oh, it's so good, it's so good. So I'm gonna choose this one. Screw the book. I mean, it's gonna be outside, lie in the grass. It's dope. I love to chill. It's my favorite thing. If I see like a chill place, like oh, I want to lay there and just. Chill and look at the stars. I'm gonna do that because it's awesome. Would you rather have long curly hair or have short straight hair? I actually get curly hair when it's get long. When it's get about here, it starts to curl a lot. So this one, I just keep it short, so it's not curling. You know, cur curling, curling. You know what I mean? Oh. Would you rather have your current pet live as long as you do or? Bring a past pa past pet back to life. I don't have a current pet because I don't really have time for a pet. But I would really love to bring past uh, the last uh, when I still lived with my father. We had had a dog called uh, Snoozy. It kind of me if you, uh, if I translate it, it kind of means sniffer because she was always looking uh, like she never used her eyes really. She just put her nose down to the ground and was sniffing on everything till she found what she was looking for. 
uh, he, she was the greatest dog ever. I had a few dogs uh, in my life. Well, my dad really, but uh, you know, I've I've been there with him. And uh, that dog, she was wonderful. Uh, and I was there when uh, we had to um, put her down. She uh, she got cancer and it got really bad at the end. So we uh, had to, for her sake, put her down because she couldn't even walk anymore. Um, the same day she she had like trouble getting up the last few days there but the last day she couldn't even get up and she had this really you could hear on her that she was suffering so we we had to put her down uh, and it, it was such a sad moment. I, I actually get really sad just thinking about it, it, it she was so great the dog it, it was the best dog ever uh, oh shit I got really sad moving on Ah, oh, if there was no risk of injury, would you rather hug a panda or hug a polar bear? I would rather hug a polar bear, because they are closer to here. Yeah. Pandas are really cute, but polar bears are cool as fudge. But anyway guys, this was it for this episode. If you liked, let me know. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe so you can find me much more easily. And I will see you guys in the next episode.